school. Here you are. Oh, sweetheart. Dad, are you going to take me to soccer? Christian, not now. Darling, you go back to bed. I'll make you a cup of tea. How's the head? <laughs> Bit chilly for that, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. Let's say we get you inside. Let's get you home. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Roy. Roy Schmidt. We're neighbours. OK. Roy. OK. But who am I? dressing gown, please. But I want to see what he does next. Quickly. I told him about the accident, about how he hit his head. So, so this is my house? A and you're my wife? <laughs> you must remember that. <laughs> it's me, <laughs> Kelly. Look at me. Arms out. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh. Hi, I'm Vicky. Uh, Vicky. Hi. Uh, Christian. Dad, don't you remember me at all? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. My name is Vicky Ross. I'm nine and a quarter years old and I want a dog. Hey, guys. Not now, Christian. Okay, but the men in white coats are here. Oh, typical. Someone had to go and call them. Wellness are here. I've come to take him away. Christian, stop. Not funny. I could take him in to see Dr. Collins myself. Tell him you've had a better offer. <laughs> <laughs> look, Alec. Look. This is us at the Water Festival last year. Um, and that bear, you won that on the coconut chai for Becky. Um, look, here's your pick. You, Alec Ross. This was an anniversary present. We've been married. For nearly 17 years. 17? Childhood sweethearts, virtually. You must remember something. <sighs> you couldn't make all this stuff up. Of course you couldn't. Why would you? This is you, Alec. All of it. You know what? Uh, 
Maybe I should go and see that doctor. the lighting strip you've been saying you were going to do it for months but you slipped off the ladder and fell and thank goodness the door was open and Roy found you or well I was changing a light bulb you know what they say 90% of accidents happen around the home <laughs> Kia ora. where are we off to today wellness I understand Family wellness consultant. Firm but fair. Mm. That's what you always say. Uh, you ride through here on your way to work nearly every morning. What do I do? Like, my job, I mean. HR at One Wine or Water. You're a manager. And um, you're always joking and saying silly things like, beats working for a living. Mm. But you like it and you're very popular. So, this is all Waimawana? Best little place in the world. Case. Yeah, uh, in my boxes too. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Uh, Dr. Collins? Uh, to be honest, I'm only guessing. What happened, Dylan? Well, I woke up, uh, didn't know where I was, and uh, I guess I freaked out. And what about Kelly? The kids? No, Zilch. It was like I woke up today and it was all. I don't know, it was, it was like, uh, it was like the first day of my life. Like, nothing existed before. It was like I never existed before. So, you're gonna have to put me in the loony bin. Temporary amnesia isn't unusual following your head trauma. Okay, how do I even know what a loony bin is? Well, the brain's a complex organ. The part that remembers isn't necessarily the same as the part that knows stuff. I look Ross, MRI. See, there's the tiniest hairline fracture of the skull here. But there's no evidence of a bleed or any swelling. When did you take that? Yesterday, right after your accident. See, everything looks fine. Close. <laughs> Look, I had a client. He was mountain biking without a helmet. He went headlong into a tree. And afterwards, he couldn't remember anything about himself. But he still knew how to play the piano beautifully. Did he get his memory back? He remembers to wear a helmet now. Look, Alec, there's probably nothing to worry about, but 
I would like to consult a colleague. Why don't you go and wait with Kelly, have some tea? Yeah. I won't be long. No worries. shows the interface was inserted correctly. Uh, it could have been an adverse reaction to the initial drug wipe. And that would have been picked up on in transfer. Oh, there's always room for error. <laughs> there have been other irregularities in this case. Uh, excuse me a moment. Alec. Uh, hi, I'm sorry, which way was out? That way. Right, yeah, thanks. I shouldn't be too much longer. Okay. For goodness sake, Alex, sit down. Uh, you know, we, we should go. Uh, I mean, she said it was probably nothing. She said it was nothing that you can't remember a single thing that happened before today? Well, not in those exact words, but... Uh, Thanks for so waiting. Well, Alec, it seems that you've managed to score a subdural hematoma. What is, what is that? That's a bleed beneath the dura mater, the sheath that covers the, uh, the brain. How would you know that? Uh, just a guess. Well, you're right. It's only tiny, but it's putting pressure on a part of your brain causing amnesia. Well, you said that my scan was clear. I'm not a neurologist. Fortunately, my colleague picked it up. Can you fix it? A specialist is on his way. We need to get you prepped for theatre. Now? I know it's unfortunate, but at least we found out in time. Everything's going to be fine. Hold still, Alec. This is going to make you feel a bit drowsy. Don't fight it. Just enjoy. How long will it take? Oh. Just as long as it takes. Don't worry, your boy's in good hands. Hope is staying with Christian and Becky, so I'll be waiting right here for you. Oh, that's, that's great. Who's Hope again? Ready for a little ride, Mr. Ross? Uh, don't, don't say that. I won't fall. Can't kind of be tumbling off the way to theatre, can I? Okay, let's go. I love you. Wait by the car. Huh? 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 Well, uh, I... It's all right, take it easy. Why am I here? That's a long story, I'm afraid. Fraught and full of tears. What do you remember? Who are you? You really don't know? Well, I, I can't. I... I can't see you. No? Nothing at all? No. That's just as well, I suppose. How did you do it? Why didn't it take? I, I don't understand. What didn't it take? You pulled a swifty and now it's come back to bite you on the bum. 
You're not making any sense. I'll sort it. I just wanted you to know I didn't have any choice. You left me with no choice. Take him back in. No, no, wait, wait, wait. What, what's gonna... What, what are they gonna do to me? You're going to become Alec Ross and everything that went before never happened. It's better this way. It's better for you. It's better for Hannah. It's a damn sight better for me. Who, who's Hannah? It doesn't matter. You won't remember. Who are you? I'm Harry. And now I never happened either. Goodbye, Alec Ross. Have a wonderful life. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I don't... Wait. face, Lani. It's like I was a total stranger to him. It's like he was scared of me. He was probably just confused. Yeah. Don't you worry. When they finish with him, he'll be good as new. <laughs> Mr. Ross? Someone already came and took him. Not very well organised, are you? Hang on. Hang on is not a valid uh, destination. Kiora, Alex, uh, where would you like to go to today? Uh, home. I understand. Glad someone does. Dad? Hi. 
Where's Mum? Uh, she's not back yet. Okay. Me and Christian are over at the park with Hope and Paige, but I needed my mitt. Do you want to come play? Uh, well, I can't right now. See you. Uh, sweetheart. Tell me, um, do you know anyone called Hannah? No, who is she? Okay. What about Harry? Yes. Who is he? My old bear. The one I got before Marshmallow. Okay. Can I go now? Sure. Sweetheart, can you keep a secret for Daddy? Don't tell anyone you saw me here, okay? Why not? Oh, because it's a secret, okay? Cross my heart. <laughs> I'm glad you'll be there. <laughs> Thanks. Alec, Alec, please just wait where you are. Someone is coming to help you now. How do you know where I am? Please just calm yourself. There's nothing to worry about. Just stay with you. Kia Alec. Let's be safe. Where are we off to now? Get me out of here. I'm sorry. Out of here is not a valid destination. Oh, crap. Um, is not a valid you know. destination. Your last six destinations were playing fields, Waimoana Water Offices, Scenic Drive. Uh, scenic Drive! Yeah, uh, take me to Scenic Drive. I understand. Please. Hey, Mr. Ross. What's up? Uh, do I know you? Someone's used up their power allocation. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was just curious about what was up this way, and I, I, I guess I, uh, well, I lost track. Uh, well, I'll top you up. But someone's gonna be riding their bike this month. <laughs> yeah. That should get you home. So... What's up there, anyway? Nothing as nice as Waimoana. But hey, what is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, any chance I can take a look? You could apply for extra credits, I suppose. Right. Uh, thanks. Well, I'll see you around. Kiora, where are we off to now? Home.
destination? Airport. Arrivals or departures? Departures. What is your flight number? Well, I don't bloody know. I don't bloody know is not a I, I don't care. Number. Just take me to the airport, please. Arrivals or departures? Oh, for... Do you wish to self-navigate? Yes. Yes. Kia Hi. Kia ora, how can I help you? Uh, yeah, um, I'd like a ticket, uh, thanks to... Uh, actually, when's the next flight out of here? Not until tomorrow morning, I'm afraid. Uh, uh, what about that flight? I'm sorry, sir, it's fully booked. OK, tomorrow morning. Uh, can I get a seat on that? Certainly, sir. Can I have your details, please? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, sir. You don't appear to have enough C credits to validate this flight. Uh, C credits? What do you mean? Carbon credits? So you're already in deficit? Oh, gosh, that's a pretty big footprint, sir. I want to get on that flight. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, sir. I have to get on that flight. Uh, look, can I buy extra credits? See, this is, this is me. I'm Alec Ross. Um, you can have whatever's on there. Take a lot. I really don't care. Just get me on that flight, please. Sir, please don't get upset. I'm getting upset. Is there someone I can call? No, there isn't. Mr Ross. Please calm down. You've had an accident, sir. You need to get out of my way. Kira, Alex. Home. I'm sorry. This vehicle is no longer operational. No, 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 no. Please yeah. assistance. Shit. Um, just... I'm sorry, but this vehicle is Shit. no longer just... operational. Go! <laughs> the... Go! I'm sorry, this vehicle is no longer operational. Please await assistance. <sighs> Now, hold on. So much for not drawing any unwanted attention. I'd have headed for the airport. If someone was stupid enough to let me get the drop on him. Okay, sir, I'll give up. What do you want? Sir, please come in the van. Just, Just tell me what you want. We only want to help. No, it's over. As soon as we're sure it's taken, I'd better put some distance between us. <laughs> it's a shame. I was just getting to like why Moana. <laughs> was on it meant to change the, the light strip in the garage. And I, I remember climbing up the ladder and I must have slept. Do you remember anything else after that? No, uh, not, not really. Well, you suffered quite a blow. By the time we realised how serious it was, you'd led us on quite the chase. I did? Don't worry, it's all sorted now. Dr Weston repaired a small hematoma. Uh, hema, what's it? It's a tiny blood clot in the brain. Okay. Do you know who I am? 
Yeah, Dr. Collins. <laughs> Unless you want me to call you Natasha. Oh. Do you know who you are? Alec Ross. Married to... Kelly. Um, where is she? Hi, Kelly's at home. She will be relieved you're feeling better. Now, you're going to have to take it easy for a while, Alec, but everything's going to be fine. make some allowances for Alec. He might still be a bit vague in some areas. What do you mean? He might forget a name or a word here or there or even how to do something that he's done before. But if that happens, don't panic. That will settle down. Uh, but um, he remembers me now, doesn't he? Kia ora. And welcome to the show. Coming up on This Is Why Moana, Z is for zero waste. And worm farms are fun. Morning, Alora. Now, today we are bringing you another exciting segment. And today it's on recycling. Now, this is our friendly neighbourhood recycling bin. And what we want to do is, of course, keep Wai Moana looking gorgeous and great. So one of the things you can do back home is actually recycle your plastic Alec? bottles. You do know who I am, don't you? Never seen you before in my life. That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. okay. Oh, I'm so worried. That's okay. Bye, Alec. Watch out for letters. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey. hey. Dad? Mm-hmm? Do you remember that you promised me a puppy? Uh, well, I remember you keep asking me for one, and I keep saying that I'm allergic to dog hair. Good try, but not good enough. I don't think that's about enough excitement. You can go and have a lie down, and I will bring you a ginseng tea. Mm. Very good for the brain, apparently. It's the water festival, eh? That's right. And I'm holding the, the bear in front, because... Uh, Becky just squashed her ice cream down in front of my shirt. What was it on purpose? Yeah, I know. Bed. Everything's back to normal. And that's just how I like it. <laughs> I love you. Alec Ross. Do I have to? Yes, I need eggs. I'll go. What? What are you doing up? You're supposed to be taking it easy. Natasha said, you know, carry on as usual. Natasha, is it? Well, yeah, firm but fair. Honestly, I feel fine. <laughs> Could you, um, pick up some more milk while you're there? Yeah. Might be a tea. Maybe a bit of brain damage will improve him. Christian.
Kia ora, Alec. Where are we off to today? The shop. I understand. Uh, eggs, please. Uh, half a dozen, I guess, and some more milk. Thanks. We didn't miss them in the order. No. Emergency pavlova. Healthy hen organic or chirpy chick organic? Oh, uh, the usual, I guess. How's the head? Oh, right as rain. You know, I've got a light bulb out the back that needs changing. <laughs> you want to be careful. 90% of accidents happen in the home. Uh, that's what they say, all right. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Oh. Yeah, no worries. Hi, Alec. Hi. Uh, sorry, mate. Do I, do I know you? Just a passing acquaintance. Take care of yourself. Yeah. It's taken his phone. Do you really believe it? Game over. I can get out of here. I don't trust him. He's clever. You stay with him. Logan, Dr. Collins. Hello, Dr. Collins. Request file Alec Ross. Retrieving files. Previous medical history. I'm sorry, this service is not available. Psychological profile. This program is not responding. Please try... Refresh. I am sorry, we have a code error. For your convenience, please save and exit. Thank you for waiting. Your system is rebooting. Goodbye. Dad. Oh, good night, sweetie. Oh, and your mum said uh, ten minutes, then lights out. Okay? Fifteen. <laughs> okay, who's counting? Dad. What? I didn't tell anyone our secret, not even mum. Good girl. What secret? Yesterday, when I saw you here. I was here. Yes, and you asked if I knew anyone called Hannah. Yeah, um, I think yesterday I was a bit strange. Yeah, and then you wanted to know about Harry. About Harry? Yes, and here he is. <laughs> okay. Good night, Harry. Night, night, Daddy. Good night, love. Alec, I'm not ready for you yet. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. No, actually, I was just thinking how beautiful you were. Really? Yeah. Then don't say sorry. You still feeling okay? Oh, better than okay. Mm. <laughs> Me too. I'll put you through the hoops a bit, eh? Not your fault. You went yourself. Yeah. And you really are so beautiful. Mm. <laughs> It's sexy as hell. <laughs> no, I can't even believe I could have forgotten anything about you. <laughs> Wait, Alec, I forgot my face cream. Mm, it tastes good to me. No, no, I don't, darling. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I've got a surprise for you. <sighs> Let me finish getting ready. Ah, uh, you look ready to me. <laughs> You stay here. You wait. <laughs> stay. I don't know what the hell's going on, but 
Whatever you think, whatever they say, you are not Alec Ross. Alec, did you say something? Uh, no, 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 love, just, uh, just talking to myself. Whatever you think, whatever they say, you are not Alec Ross. Oh, shit, they're coming for me. If you're watching this by now, maybe you think you are Alec Ross, but it, it's not true. Whatever people are saying to you, do not trust them. Whoever they are, not even your own family. Whoever you are, you're, you're not Alec Ross. Alec? Oh! Whatever people are saying to you, do not trust them. Whoever they are, not even your own family. Whoever you are, you're, you're not Alec Ross. Uh, okay. Find Harry, because he knows who you really are. And uh, Hannah, there's someone called Hannah. Whatever's going on, Harry knows. Oh, shit, they're coming for me. If you're watching... Morning. Oh, hey. You sleep okay? Might be nice to be up before the kids. Yeah, yeah, sure. How are you feeling? Oh, pretty good, thanks. Becky wouldn't say at all. She was restless. Alec? Uh, sorry, love. What'd you say? You sure you're all right to go back to work? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So tonight, um, you think we can go back to things as normal? Well, I, I don't know, love. I, uh, I, I don't know. Well, obviously, I wouldn't want you to feel pressured. Oh, wow. The card cost her a month's pocket money. And what a sad waste of tree. That is not. Dad, are you coming to my game? Well... We've got a good chance of getting to the finals. So, uh... Might be a bit much on his first day. Yeah, yeah, should be all right, mate. Cool. You'll need to pick up the car. It's our turn for uniforms. Uh, yeah, all good. Uh, lady, guys. All right, now, Alec. Everything all right there? Oh, all good, Roy. All good. Uh, morning. Yeah. Morana. Morning. 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 Hi, Alex. Lovely to have you back, Alec. Oh, thanks. Uh... Jude. Jude. We're all glad you're feeling better. I guess you heard about me jogging in my undies. It's kind of funny in retrospect. Any chance of an encore? Uh, not today. Anyway, wheel chipped in and, um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, thanks, everyone. Yeah. same guy I saw outside the shop a few days ago. I've tried to lose him, but he keeps turning up. I mean... Alec, hey. do you want the full catch-up now or just the headline notes? Oh, whatever suits. Um, you need to know that accounts have put in a request for a new junior, but um, no joy so far. Yeah, that sounds good, Jude. Uh, won't be a sec. Um, do you want me to... Wait. Killer! 
You're good to see something's ever changed, eh? You must be feeling better. First day back on the job, though. Might even seem to be bunking off. Oh, no, no, I wasn't. Uh... And you might need more than one club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've got a full day, but uh, we'll get out this week sometime. Rematch with the boys in distribution, eh? Sure. Yeah. Good man. We can forget about it. You don't get it, do you? You don't understand. Kyle! Leave me alone! Please, just get in the car. We can talk when we get home. You can't make me. Kyle! Stop acting like oh, you're my mother! Through this. Just get in the car! You're not my mother! Kyle, not now. I'm not going back there. It's not my home. Don't be ridiculous. I don't trust you. It's all a lie. What are you looking at? Oh, uh, just checking. Is everything okay? What do you think? We're fine. He just gets a little bit upset, but uh, we're fine. Finals, thanks to Carl. Loser. Has he ever gone off like that before? He's always been weird, but lately it's getting worse. Yeah. We should have left him on the bench, but the coach wants us all to help. Yeah. Uh, mate, I'll drop you home. I've got a meeting. Yeah, whatever. I'm Janine. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm here for the uh, the uniform wash. Uh, it's our turn. I, I sort of pick up Carl's jersey. Oh. Do you want to come in? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, I won't be a moment. Must be proud of Christian. Oh, yeah. He's been very nice to Kyle. Very supportive, considering. He's not a bad kid. It's just when he gets upset, he, he lashes out. And, and, and lately, well, you saw. So, how old was Kyle when you adopted him? He's not adopted. Oh, sorry, I, I heard him in the car park and I thought he said... That's the kind of hurtful thing he says when he's having one of his episodes. Oh. Wellness have been really helpful. There's some new medication we're trying, so hopefully. Well, maybe I could have a word with him, uh, just to let him know that we all care. He gets really tired after one of his turns. Another time. Sure. Another time. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, no worries. Good night. Oh, good night. <laughs> Thanks. So, how was everyone's day? What? There was a, a problem on the field. Freako Carl punched someone. Oh, it's terrible. You shouldn't be allowed to play. 
play if that's how he's going to carry on. Maybe he just needs a bit of support. He's mental. We don't say that. It's true. Maybe we should cut him a bit of slack. At least you're taking an interest in someone's family. Carl, come on. If you'd seen the way this kid flipped out... Would, would it help been... if I punched someone in the face? Don't walk away from me, Alec. At least talk to me. I want to understand that you keep shutting me out. If there's anything I said or done or anything at no, all... No, it's not that. I miss you. I want you with me. I don't know what to do anymore. Hey, honey, what are you up to? Do you want me to put water on the table for everyone? No, it's fine. I can do it. You and Christian can start. Dad, are you sleeping on the couch tonight? No, he's not. Of course he's not. Okay. She came in in the middle of the night for a glass of milk and she oh, saw me on the That's fantastic. Now I'll have to let the school counselor know. Yeah, she's fine about it. What would you know about how anyone else feels except Alec Ross? I know who you are. Uh, I just want to talk to you. <laughs> Original. You're offering candy next. Hey, hey. I heard you say your mother wasn't your mother. Kyle, wait. Sometimes I feel the same way. What about your mother? About, about people, like uh, my wife, my family. Uh, sometimes I feel like this isn't even my life. You're on your own. Okay, the sooner you answer my question, the sooner I will leave you alone. Why did you say your mother wasn't your mother? Because the aliens replaced her, probably. Or something like that. You're just as stupid as everyone else. Leave me alone, all right? All of you! G'day, Ella. How's it going? Take it easy, mate. I'm gonna hurt you. What do you want? Offer a bit of helpful advice. Keep away from the kid. Stop making waves. Or what? Not such a bad life, is it? Kelly seems a bit of all right. Who are you? friend of a friend who's taken an interest. So leave well enough alone or... Or what? Harry? What did you call me? Are you Harry? Listen, mate. Final warning. Keep your nose out. We're going to be cut off. Schedule update without your signature. Pedantic, I know, but uh, rules give structure and structure gives meaning. Uh, yeah, uh, excuse me. Alec Ross, human resources and. Right front tyre. Sorry? Right tyre at the front. Right, uh, I'll get on to that ASAP. Bye. Uh, yeah. How did it? Yeah. Good man. Mm -hmm. 
I had to run before. You're being followed. Yeah, I know. He told me to stay away from you. What else did he say? I asked the questions. You tell me what you know, I tell you what I know. That's the way it works. Look, I know I come from somewhere else. But if it's another country or town or, or even another planet, I don't know. I know they're watching me. All the time. So you think whoever they are, they're not human? You say you want to know the truth, but you don't. I'm just trying to make sense of it. That's what doesn't that make sense. I know there's something wrong. And I know watching me is part of it. But I don't know why, okay? Okay. I don't know. Okay, calm down. Take it easy. I feel the same way. I feel like, uh, like this life isn't my life. And really, I'm someone else. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, okay. <sighs> okay, um, now that there's something that you really need to see. If you're watching this, I mean, maybe you think you are Alec Ross by now, but it's not true. Whatever they're saying to you, don't trust them, or even your own family. No, I don't remember any of that. <laughs> Somehow they erased it from my memory. So now I record what's going on in case it happens again. I need to know what you know. I'll show you. This is everything I have. It's kind of hard to get paper, so, you know, be careful. Who's this? That's my mother. M my real one. I asked Janine and she said you weren't adopted. Everything's been changed to fit this story. That's my father. Looks nothing like the man claiming to be my dad. What about that one? That's me. Yeah. It's really good. I drew them, so whatever they did to me, I could still remember. How do you know they're your parents? We talked once, maybe six months ago, on my way to school. It was only about 30 seconds, but as soon as they told me, I knew it was true. What'd they say? They loved me. That it was too dangerous for me to go with them. They said they'd come back for me. I've waited, but... Maybe they're not free. Well, they know I can't get away because wellness are always watching. They always know. Who's your doctor? Dr. Collins. What, do you know her? Yeah. How do they always know where we are? Maybe secret cameras or satellites. I don't know. But whenever they want me, eh, they know exactly where to find me. Yeah, it might be some kind of tracking system. Yeah. A microchip. What's well, something on us? Yeah. Oh, shit. We should leave. Separately.
been, oh, I felt so alone. Um, the last few nights I haven't even been able to sleep in the same bed with Callie. I just felt. Uh, Cal, give me that, please. What is this? It's nothing. This is nothing. But it's so good. It's such a relief not to feel crazy anymore, to, to have someone who understands, who feels the same. You like this boy? Oh, Cal, no, no, it's not that. You finally found someone who understands you, who feels the same? What is that meant to okay, me? It's not what it looks like, okay? Then what is it? What else is on here? Well, just give me the it's damn... It's appalling, it's no, disgusting. It's just something that I have to do, okay? What did you do? It's gone. Deleted. What if anyone saw that? You oh, imagine? no, no. Everything that I know, everything that I am, was on this. You're not making any sense anymore. None. You should not have done that, all right? I found a glass of milk house. Oh, sure. Yeah. Me too. Something organised this morning? Uh, no, no, I'm just catching up. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jude, uh, do we have any old stationery around? What sort of old stationery? Oh, notebook, pencil? On our office budget. Yeah. It's okay. Thanks anyway. No, I bloody did not. It's been lurking in supplies for years. I was saving it up for someone's retirement present, but... You're a genius. Say it with chocolates. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Origami. You say so? Alec Ross. Hi, Alec. Uh, Dr Collins. Natasha, what's up? Uh, could you come into wellness, please, as soon as possible? Uh, well, I'm a little busy this morning. Perhaps I, I could... I need to speak with you about Kyle Steiner. What about him? Let's discuss it when you get here. finally found him at six this morning. Covered in bruises, he was naked, he was scratched, he was terrified and babbling. Oh, poor kid. He said that you were the one who told him to run away. 
Well, no, that's not true. I'm sure it's not. He's in my son's soccer team. Uh, I was just trying to help. Help him? Mm. In what way? Well, he's got these feelings uh, about being somebody else. <laughs> that his mum's not really his mum. It's weird, huh? Anyway, he, he seemed really upset, so I just thought that I should at least listen. Log in, Dr. Collins. Hello, Dr. Collins. Request file, Kyle Steiner. Accessing file. Delusions of persecution or exalted birth, fear of parasitic infestation, oral visual hallucinations, voices. <coughs> Kyle has schizophrenia. The symptoms started about six months ago. Look, Kyle is very unwell. His condition requires careful management. Now, I'm sure that you meant well, Alec, but from now on, you have to stay well away from him. The less validation that he gets for these delusions, the better. I'll leave it to the professionals. I get it. And how have you been feeling, Alec? Me? I'm fine. Look, I'm sorry, I really must get this. Of course. If there is anything bothering you, you know we're here for you. Oh, thank you. I, uh, I appreciate that. Go home, Alex. Carl's in good hands. I understand. Observation overnight, but he should be able to go home first thing in the morning. So soon? But he seems so disturbed. No, I know that's how it seems, but I've consulted a colleague and there are some exciting options open to us. I, okay, Kyle will be fine. I promise you. I promise. Thank you, Simon. It's always going well. Anything good on? Did this in the oven. Janine calls. She's very upset, naturally, about you and Kyle. Kelly, uh, I swear to you that all I was trying to do was help a troubled kid, okay? I want us to see a counsellor. You kidding me? You don't think we need it? Kelly, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to make you a part of this. Part of what? A part of what? Alec, he's a sick kid. 
and you are making her worse. No, there's more to it than that. You really think his mother isn't really his mother? That's just crazy. Well, maybe it is. What else would you call it? We have to get through this for the kids and for us. I'm really sorry for hurting you, okay? I'll do anything you want. Even counselling? If you think it'll help. Do you want it to help? Sure. It's not what you said. I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm really sorry. Will you sleep with me? I mean, in our bed. Of course. And you don't wish that I was somebody else? No, no, God, no. No. <sighs> you are so very... What? Did you hear that? No. What were you going to say? I tried to get it out, Alec, but I couldn't. This is all I can find, but it's not sharp enough. Kyle, mate, come inside, okay? I heard them talking, Alec. They were going to take me somewhere to a special hospital for my own good. That's their story. Don't take it out of my head. Kyle, come inside, mate. Then I can do yours. Alec, what's going on? You, Kyle? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Kyle, mate, we need to get you some help, okay? We need to get you a doctor. You're one of them. You were one of them all along. No. No, 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 mate, no, look! Oh, cool, well, no. no. He's hurt himself, he's blind! Yeah, well, he's terrified, okay? But I, I think I can get through to him. Just, you have to trust me, okay? Don't call anyone! guy who cleans up your mess. I blocked your chip, but not for long. Either you're gone or you're dead. Your choice. Forget about the kid. Just go. While you can.
Mr. Ross, uh, Alec, what are you... Um, are you okay? Where's Kyle? I came to check on Kyle. Well, thank you for your concern, but as you can see, Kyle is much better now. He doesn't have to go away anymore. Dr. Collins has said he shouldn't get too wound up. I have to go. Uh, uh, Mr. Ross, Alec, uh, I'm sorry for all the trouble I made and everything. And uh, I, I think... I think things are going to be better now. Last night I was so worried. You were? Yes. All sorts of terrible, terrible thoughts. Did you call them? Who? I didn't call anyone. You asked me not to. And whatever's going on, you're still my husband. I love you. I love you so much. Oh, I've been confused. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's the accident. It's more than that. feeling well.
You're going to become Alec Ross and everything that went before never happened. I'm Harry. And now I never happened either. Do you know who you are? Alec Ross? I don't know what the hell's going on. Whatever you think, whatever they say, you're not Alec Ross. Kyle has schizophrenia. The symptoms started about six months ago. There's something inside my head. Maybe that's how they track us. I bet you've got one too. All I was trying to do was help a troubled kid. I want us to see a counsellor. He said that you were the one who told him to run away. Forget about the kid. Either you're gone or you're dead. Your choice. I came to check on Kyle. As you can see, Kyle is much better now. He looks like Kyle to me now. I accept it like everyone else. What I feel is that he's changed. Uh, directed to Alec? I feel like you've changed, and not in a good way. I feel like nothing I do is good enough anymore. It's not about you. I'm kidding, Dad. Don't you worry. Kelly, uh, you're a great person. Uh, you're a wonderful mother. Um, and you're absolutely beautiful. If that's but... true, then why won't you sleep with me? He's been on the couch ever since the accident. Why is that? And you said you didn't want to disturb me because of the nightmares. So, yes, I am upset because you're not happy, but now it seems all you care about is who you are. What sort of nightmares? I don't remember. Kelly, I think it might be helpful if I have some time alone with Alec. Alec seems to have his own issues outside the relationship. Would that be fair to say? Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe. You think it'll help? So... Tell me what's really going on. How would you describe yourself right now? Uh, keen to get home. <laughs> that sounds angry. Is there any reason why you don't want to talk to me? I'm just not sure what it's meant to achieve. <laughs> there really is something you don't want to tell me. Well, what about these nightmares of yours? Uh, which you don't remember, but which are disturbing enough to make you want to sleep on the couch. Look, I, I can't be the only guy who's ever questioned the point, or you know, why things are the way they are. No. So, what is the point? Well, you're the professional, you tell me. Do you still have much to do with Kyle's diner? I see him around. Uh, he seems much better. He is. We can help you too, Alec. But you have to want to be helped first. Otherwise... We can start you on a mild antidepressant. Uh, no, no, I'm not depressed. Okay. I'm going to suggest another course of action. One I hope you'll seriously consider. Do I have a choice? There's always choice, Alec. Choice. And consequences. <sighs> Night. 
sure you don't want to put some broken glass between us? Oh, Cal, this wasn't my idea, okay? How long are we supposed to do this no-touching thing? Till Mike says so. Uh, I can go back on the couch No. You... Yeah. Did he talk about me? Hun, you are not the problem. He thinks I don't listen, and, and I don't make you happy. Well, not everyone can be happy all of the time. It's just, it's just not possible. Most people I know are. Yeah, yeah, they, they probably are. Unhappy people. I'm sorry, I don't understand. How about depression? Do you require an appointment with wellness? Please confirm. No, no, cancel. I understand. <sighs> New question. Uh, disputes. Do you mean conflict resolution? Yes, of course. Retrieving files. Ah, that is? Yeah. Have you got a conflict? Uh, no, just reviewing job satisfaction. It's not usually an issue. No, everyone does seem pretty happy, all right. <laughs> well, of course. Except in services. Not the most satisfying career path, but uh, that's what counselling's for. How's the management seminar coming along? Oh, nearly done. I'll send it through. Yeah. Uh, I hope we're saying it must be our turn to have you guys over. How's everything on the home front? We're having a few hiccups. It'll work out, man. man I wanted to see. Hey, uh... Davo. Yeah. We still need that office junior. How's that going? Uh, actually, I wanted to go over the incident with you, the dispute with Jessica Wilmer. <laughs> she was the one with the problem, mate, not me. So, uh, you think we took appropriate action? Yeah, well, I knew counselling would be a waste of time. Hey, but she found a niche, though, eh? Go-go club. Best place for her. <laughs> Welcome to the Go Go Club. I'm Tiffany. Please touch me to begin. <laughs> I like that. Please present ID card for credit scan now. Welcome, Alec Ross. Please look for personal trainer on your next statement. Sounds good. Hello. 
I'm Jessica. What the hell do you want? I just want to talk. Get lost. Just wait. Hang on, Jessica. Just listen. Piss off. I've been going over cases in HR. Conflict resolution. It didn't get resolved. I'm not sure we made the right decision. We. Me. Are you happy? What do you think? Yeah. Neither am I. If you think I'm going to give you anything. No, I'm not here for that. I've changed. You reckon? I think you were badly treated. Don't tell me you're getting a conscience. Well, I don't sleep well at night, that's for sure. And that interests me how? Hey, Jess. Is there a problem? No, no. No problem at all? No. We're all done here. She's not your type. Maybe I can help. Uh, no, no, thanks. I just wanted to talk. Come back and see us again soon, Alec. away from Jessica or when you least least Listen, mate, I don't know what you think went on, but I didn't touch her, OK? Pleased? No, um, I, I just got in a bit late and I didn't want to wake you, that's all. I can sleep through anything. Did Stephen get hold of you? No. He called last night. I said you might be down the club. Yeah, uh, I finished up going for a walk instead. Must have been a long one. Did you discover anything profound on this walk? No. Not really.
Can you meet me? I don't know, Hope. My marriage is falling apart. We're failing at counselling. Counsellors don't know everything. He wants to speak to Alec alone. Guy stuff. You really want to know half the crap they're thinking? Stephen busy at work? Not particularly. Alec called to say he's working late. Right. This is the guy who used to be slobbed out on the couch by nine or going over his golf scores. Maybe he wants a promotion. Alec. Okay, he's easygoing, but that's why we love him. What if there's another reason? Cal, don't be silly. I can't just ignore what's under my nose. Tell me again what happened in accounts. I got the job. It was my lucky break. Beautiful Waimana. I started in accounts. Straight away, Davo asked me out. We went out a couple of times, but... Well, you didn't like him? Everyone thought I was so lucky. And I did too, at first. But we just didn't... click. Hmm. It happens. No, but Davo thought we were made for each other. Like he'd been waiting his whole life for me. Romantic? No. Weird. When I said it wasn't working, he didn't believe me. Things turned nasty, and when I complained about harassment, you took his side. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe you are. Do you sometimes feel like... like you don't belong? Oh, even though we're a social service and I should feel good about my job, according to my no, counsellor. No, I don't mean about your job. I mean, belong here in Waimawana. What are you talking about? Do you ever feel like you're really someone else? I'm sorry. Have you had some kind of a breakdown? Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh... I have dreams, nightmares, uh, things I can't explain. Names that I think I should know, but I can't remember why. Uh, a green door? I have to go to work. Just give me my job back. That's all I want from you. About the green door. Yeah. I think I've seen it. In a dream. I used to have bad dreams when I first came here. But not anymore. Now sleep is the best bit. So, any movement on those feelings of yours? I'm a lot better. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's just, just, a, just a phase, really. Uh, <laughs> midlife crisis. I mean, come on, I, I know I'm lucky. I've, I've got a great wife, great kids, uh, great life. It doesn't mean I'm not going to wonder occasionally uh, what's it all about. What is it all about, Alec? Being happy. You really should open up a little. Most people find it liberating. Why do you visit sex clubs, Alec? Hoping for some action? Hmm? What? You're my personal trainer. Everything is connected to your health and well-being. It can be a harmless release or a symptom of something deeper. In which case, I am here to help you. It's all about freedom of choice, Alec. But you need to make the right choices. 
for you and for Kelly. Hello, Alec. Natasha. How did we go with Mike? Everything's connected, right? I take an interest in how all my clients are doing. Oh, damn, I thought I was special. Perhaps you were. So how are you doing, Alec? I'm getting there. Good. Keep it up. Hi. Ah, ah, ah. Ron, I ah. need food. I left a message. You need to start the barbie. Well, I've been at counselling. Great. Great. How was Mike? Are you okay? Are you having an affair? Me? There are no other husbands in this kitchen and there is no bloody counsellor. No, I'm not. Is that true? Of course. Where's this coming from? Mom, I can't find my pink dress. Look, whatever problems we're having, it's not about that, okay? About what? Um, nothing, sweetie. Can't find that silly dress, eh? I'll fire up the barbie. Hello, Alec. A man and his meat. How primal. God, it's been hard. I haven't seen you for ages. And the new nanny's hopeless. The twins are teething. I've missed you. Yeah. Callie said anything? I think she's suspicious. Oh, hey! Hey, Hi. Mm. Where are the troops? Breaking in the new nanny. <laughs> Stephen and Paige are power walking. Ooh. ta -ra, Miss Sue. Oh, you shouldn't have. No, I wanted to. Oh, well, thank you. Put. Mm, well, hope is a great cook. Dad, mm. I can finish yours if you like. No, honey, no. That's I forgot that you came going upstairs if you want to take a look. No, all right. Sorry. Oh, to be that age again. It's all about sex, especially at that age. Stephen. What? What's wrong with talking about sex? Honey, can I please have my fairy forest now? Yes, you can. It's got goblins too. You can have money. Status, all the secrets in the world. It all comes back to sex. Maybe you've had enough. What do you think, Al? He prefers golf to sex. <laughs> oh, aren't they the same? <laughs> well, one of them you can't do lying down. You haven't been playing much lately. Golf, that is. Oh, uh, I guess not. All part of my midlife crisis. <laughs> is that what's going on with you? Will you be getting a red sports car and a blonde? You know what my advice, Al? Life is for living, not for worrying. And you never worry? Life's good. I sleep easy. Though there could always be more sex. <laughs> and now I'm taking you home. Ooh, is that an offer? Stephen's so boring when he's drunk. Yeah. I told Hope that I thought you were having an affair. I thought I could see the signs, you know, she said I was being silly. If you want to talk to me about your thing, your crisis, you can. Don't think I'm crazy. No, you can talk to me, honestly. What if I said, I think I had another life before this one? Reincarnation? I like the idea. No. Another life, for real. Up until a few weeks ago. And then I became Alec Ross. I mean, 
And you've noticed that I'm different? Yes. Um, do you need to go to wellness? No. But this is insane. You want to know what's... If this is how you really feel, then you need help. Look, Kelly, please, just... Just think about it. I love you, and I have to help you. Have you talked to Mike about this? No. All I need is just a little bit more time to get myself sorted. But this is between you and me, okay, Kelly? Okay, Kelly? Cal. Has this got anything to do with this Hannah person? No. I don't even know anyone called Hannah. Go to bed. Uh, you coming? In a while. Suit yourself. Welcome back. I'm not staying long. Please look for personal trainer on your next statement. Are we being watched? I don't know. Did the music go off any louder? <laughs> I do what you usually do. This better be good, or I'll hurt you. I need to run something by you, and I want you to tell me if it makes sense at all. Is this a line? No. But why me? I think... I think you're like me. We've been put here, given new memories. That's why you get the same dreams, the nightmares. Oh. That's why you feel like you don't fit in. Hang on. I know, it sounds completely barking yeah, mad. Yeah, not here. If it's true, if you're not him, then why doesn't everyone know? Memory replacement. Somehow, I, I don't even know how. Maybe the TV. Okay. Look, I saw it happen with Kyle. And this is the crazy kid who The kid who got replaced, yeah. I, I saw it, I wrote it down. And I saw three guys get killed right in front of my eyes. They could track him and me too, maybe because of this thing in our heads. What thing? This one, here. And this is a scan they took of my brain. That doesn't belong there. So you're a part-time brain surgeon now? No, but... It's just they, a they... picture to me. Of my head? You had an accident. It could be part of the treatment. I wouldn't know. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, eh? And my wife definitely thinks so. She thinks I'm having an affair. Uh, which it turns out I am. Or was, uh, with my, my boss's wife, apparently. Well, certainly a new twist on my wife doesn't understand me. At least you haven't called wellness yet. Not yet. Hello? What happened? You're not at work anymore. I came home early. I wasn't feeling well. Who's that at Ross? I know he's there with you. It's late, OK? I'm going to bed alone. Who was that? Just someone I know from work. 
You should go. Please. for a walk in the car again I couldn't sleep I got up you weren't here I thought about calling someone did you what would I say my husband thinks he's someone else he keeps going out Where were you? There's no one else. I'm not sleeping with anyone else. So you say. Oh, God. <laughs> I know I can't change you. want my husband my family just being loved but if that's not enough for you anymore then we have to tell Mike it's hopeless and we have to move no, on no, yes no, yeah, not because I don't know what to do anymore <laughs> Talk about it. Mm. I need to talk. Cody, what are you doing? I wanted to see you. How did you know I'd be here? Well, people have to go shopping. I guess I got lucky. Ross was at my house last night. How did you know? I just do. Were you following me? No. I just know things through my work. So stalking is part of your job description? No, no, it's, it's, it's not about that. What is it about? Look, you don't need guys like Ross. He won't make you happy. And you will, I suppose. If you give me a chance. I'll get back to you on that, OK? I've had Donna in my ear. She feels a little uh, undermined. Well, all I did was recommend someone. It's not our recruitment policy. Well, as far as I can see, our policy consists of sitting on our chuffs, waiting for HQ and Golden to send us someone, usually just the one. If we only need the right one. And maybe she's it, if she's interested. <laughs> What's going on here, Alec? It's me doing my job. Why the sudden interest in this girl? We treated her badly. And, uh, and she tells me she isn't happy in her current job. You've seen her? Yeah. So how was her, uh, dancing? I think she's flexible enough for this position. 
<laughs> it was me thinking you were getting all conscientious on it. <laughs> nah, this is you, all right. That's for a hooker, though. <laughs> a little bit low rent? No, no, nothing serious. I don't want to know. Ah, uh, know what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You should stay away from me. Why? I think you're right. That stuff about us being trapped, at least. That guy I told you about? Yeah. He called last night from the club. He knew you were with me. He knew your name. Oh, shit. Keep walking. Who was he? Gordy. He started coming to the club just after I started there, but lately he's been turning up when I'm out as well. So, 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 are you saying believe me? I don't know. Maybe the chip in the head thing and I guess that stuff about not really belonging. Thanks. What for? At least I'm not the only one. Yeah, well, maybe I wish I didn't know. Do you want a new job? What job? Well, it's not exactly classy. Does it involve sex for money? Maintenance and recycling. Now, the pay's not great, but you can start right away. Yes. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you. You do know it's basically cleaning. I've done worse. Well, there is a selfish side to this. Why? Because your wife doesn't understand you? I was upset. But going through this, it's made our marriage so much better. I have learned so much about myself. And listening without anger and honesty. What you've done, Mike, it's, it's really helped. And you feel the same? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, okay, I've still got some issues to work through, but uh, as long as I can make Callie happy... I'm... And you do. <laughs> we'll get there. What I wanted to say was actually, we're screwing like bunnies. So <laughs> suck on that. You could have said it. Honesty is important. <gasps> You're being sarcastic, which is a negative form of communication. Oh, in some galaxies, it's also called joking. <laughs> Are you still having those thoughts? Uh, you mean, am I still crazy? I didn't say that. Um, do we have to have the TV on? You used to like TV for sex. Well, now I think it's a distraction from more important <laughs> <laughs> that certainly is a distraction. Mm. You really okay? I'm a lot happier. So am I. Hey, Hope. I thought you might call me. Um, look, the thing is, Hope, um, since the head injury, I, I've started to Oh, think, I yeah. see. It's that speech. Hope, you are, you're beautiful <gasps> and you're great Send and... Send me the uh, crap. Uh, just lately, I, I, I've realised some things. I've realised that I love Kelly. Oh, you love her so much you won't have sex with her. She tells me, you know. Not that I want to hear it. The situation's changed. Now, I need to make it work with Callie. I and mean, I owe it to her and Don't the kids. Don't insult me. You're a bastard. A charming, selfish bastard. I'm sorry. <gasps> no, you're not, Alec. All this midlife bullshit. Is there someone else? No. Oh, there will be. I know you. Hey! Ah, <laughs> oh, Alec, this is Rebecca, starting in accounts. Hi, Alec. Nice to meet you. Uh, welcome to White Moana Water. I'm really excited. 
This is such a great opportunity for me. Well, shall we leave the bureaucrats to it then and get on, eh? Love to. Seems like a nice girl. Yeah. Yeah. I always knew you were too good for the club. But this. I have to pay my rent somehow. Mm. He got into the job, didn't he? He? Alec Ross. He is in HR. You sure do know a lot about people. So have you seen him lately? Yes. But you already know that, don't you? I thanked him. I told him things would get better with his wife. And that's all you talked about? You know, Alec Ross is like a lot of guys who come into that club, staring down the barrel of 40, wondering where it's all going. Mm, maybe. Why do you say that? Is this more of your international man of mystery routine? <laughs> you know, if you're going to buy me that drink anytime soon, you're going to have to get past that. Well, how about tonight? What is it that you do again? <sighs> I'm in personal assistance. That sounds intriguing. So do you think you'll see much of Ross at work? <sighs> Why do we have to keep coming back to him? Because if you happen to bump into him and he said anything... What kind of thing? Well, anything out of the ordinary. You can tell me. Well, it's just some guy who works in an office. What's he going to say? That's what I want to know. And that will be helpful to you? I could be grateful. Well, there better be dinner to go with that drink. Yeah? <laughs> you got it. See you. 
тебе закличе. Себе закличе. Можете летіти, 